How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can get the Oni Bane. The reason this one is so special is because the Oni Bane is actually Yakumo's unique personalized weapon. And the way we get this one is also a little bit different. Most of the weapons up until now we have found in chests and hidden around the world map. However, this one, we actually need to trade with Yakumo himself. Depending on when you're watching this, the game is still very new. It came out today as of recording. So some of you may not be too familiar with the exchange mechanic with the NPCs in Code Vein. In Code Vein, we're able to gift items to our companion NPCs. These items are the ones in the Valuables tab. Now by giving these NPCs valuables, we'll gain trading points with them. Depending on which item we give them, each character has preferences. We can get up to five points with certain items and all the way down to one or none with certain other ones. So if you're doing this with other characters, you may have to do a little bit of trial and error of which items to give to which characters. But for Yakumo specifically, as that's what we're checking out in this video, I've got you covered. Down in the description below, I'll list all of the items known so far that you can give to Yakumo that will give you either five or at least three points with him. Just to make sure you're not wasting any valuable items just for one point where that same item for other characters, you may be able to get five points for it. Now, once we build up enough trading points, we can actually receive items from these NPCs. As we can see, the Oni Bane is costing us 50 trading points, which is quite a large amount, especially for mid early game. If you haven't found enough valuables yet to get his trading points all up to 50, we can actually put into good use the old world materials. These are the items that you may have seen drop from random enemies around the world. These old world materials are going to be a type of currency we can use with a specific vendor to buy valuables that we can give then to the NPCs in exchange for points. This vendor can be found if we go back to the arena where we fought Oliver Collins, which was the first boss in the game, back at the city ruins out of Crossroads. Now, unfortunately, as to be expected, this merchant won't be selling us any of the valuable items that will give us five points. However, he does sell a couple that can give us three points at a time. So I would recommend if you're specifically going for this weapon, buy the blood bead candy, which will always give you three points each. And then just go back and once you have 50 points, you can trade it for the weapon. Apart from looking amazing, it's actually a pretty good weapon. So I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.